Welcome to the Brandstand Woodwind Shop. A lot of people are interested in the chemicals that I use to clean my instruments, so I'll tell you a little bit about them, and then I will give you a tour of my instrument cleaning room. If you'd like to see me actually chemical cleaning an instrument, look in the description below for a link to that video. I use Freeze Lime and Scale Remover, and Allied has a similar product, it's called Slime Away. What the chemical is, is phosphoric acid, and that's what I usually use for my cleaning jobs. I have another chemical that I use for polishing silver instruments, and I'll show that one to you in a minute. The chemicals last for several years, but I had just had to replace mine because it was getting dirty. I only recommend that you get chemicals if you have a shop that does a lot of work. If you have a really small shop, or if you're just fixing your own instruments, I do not recommend that you get the chemicals because they cost a lot of money and then you have to deal with them. One thing that you can do, instead of getting a large tub of chemicals, just get a smaller container, one that will fit a trumpet or a cornet, and you can put a few gallons of chemicals in there. That way you only have the chemicals that you need. And also be sure to keep a lid on it. Faris Tool sells a product called Bright Dip, and it is a very good chemical. The only problem is it's considered hazardous, and it's very hard to dispose of. So I do not recommend that you get that one unless you are a very large shop and you know how to dispose of it correctly. I do not have that at my shop. If you don't have the chemicals and you just want to clean one instrument, what you can do is use vinegar. I don't usually recommend using vinegar, but you can use it if you want to clean out the inside of one instrument. But you need to be careful not to leave it in there too long because vinegar can take off lacquer. Another thing you can do if you're not able to clean the entire instrument is just take out the valves and the slides and put those in a small container of vinegar and leave them in there for about 10 or 15 minutes and then pull them out and use the cleaning snake to clean out the insides of them. That does not clean up the whole instrument, but at least you have part of it clean. I recommend putting the instruments and the chemicals as little as possible because the chemicals do eat away at the instrument and at the lacquer on the instrument. That will take a while for that to happen, but if you clean an instrument every few months, the chemicals will start eating at the lacquer and also at the metal. But if the instrument does need to be cleaned, you're not hurting it at all if you put it in the chemicals, unless you leave it in there too long. As I mentioned before, I am getting some new chemicals, so I'll show them to you. Here's my container with water in it. I'm going to add the chemicals to it, and you need to add the chemicals to the water and not water to the chemicals. So I'm going to put that in there, and I have five of these. That's enough to do 25 gallons of water. And you should always keep a lid on the chemicals when you're not using them, so that nothing falls in. This is the bucket that I use to put the slides and the valves into when I clean. I put them in there and then dip them into the chemicals. You can also use a laundry bag to put the parts in and soak them in the chemicals. These are the neoprene gloves that I use to protect my hands when I put them in the chemicals. And they also have a large selection of brushes that I use to clean up the instruments and they're all sizes. I have some small ones for the little places I need to clean and then I have some larger ones and the larger ones I usually use on saxophones and then you have ones for trumpet valves and baritone valves. Pretty much everything I need to clean I have the size of brush for it right here. I also have the cleaning snake to clean around the curves on the instruments. I also have some funnels if I need to pour some chemicals into the instrument. Underneath the sink I have the chemicals that I use to polish silver instruments and I'm very careful when I pull that out so it does not splash and get everywhere. I only have a few gallons of this. It's very expensive. And if you have a larger instrument, you can just put it in there, take a cup and scoop it out and pour this onto the instrument. Instruments do not need to soak in this. It just needs to make contact and it cleans it up very quickly. So the small amount of silver polish is plenty for my little shop. Sometimes if instruments do not need the chemicals, I'll just use the water and the brushes on them. Like saxophones usually do not need to be put in chemicals. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.